Hey guys, what's up? My name is Claire Dahl. If this is your first time to my channel, it's so nice to have you here. Um, so in today's video, I'm going to be using a bunch and bunch and bunch of new um, higher end makeup. You may have seen it in a haul before, but we're actually going to be testing a lot of new makeup out, um, a lot of face makeup, a lot of just different products, and we're going to create this like, it's like a daytime glam dewy summer makeup look. I don't really know what to call this video. We did a lot of new, the whole face uh, routine that I have today is different from my normal one so that's really good I'm changing it up a little bit on here um, but I just look glistening like I don't know if you can tell how let me zoom y'all in but my skin is just like glowing right now um, so I really am a fan of what we use today the new products that I use um, from lashes on and yeah so we're gonna go ahead and get started with the video give it a thumbs up if you like it along the way and make sure to subscribe and enter um, my giveaway all that's linked down below but we're gonna show you how to get this look so guys today is one of those days where I just want to beat my face for absolutely no reason whatsoever I have no plans um, and like I said we're gonna be using a lot of new makeup today you may have seen it in in a haul on here before but I've not really shown any of these on my YouTube channel yet um, so I'm really excited but I'm gonna start off with just putting some primer on my face this personally or this this is not new the what the stuff that I'm using right now at this moment it's the Smashbox photo finish primer um, it is like 1130 in the morning so we got kind of a long day I don't really have a whole lot of plans but so we need a good base next up we're going to use the Tar Tatcha silk canvas um, so this is also like a primer I used this one day last week when I was just like on my own and I noticed my makeup stayed on for so long and it takes such a tiny little bit I think it says like a grain of rice amount um, to put on your face and it smells really good it smells like earthy kind of like really clean so I'm just gonna take a little bit of that on my finger and put those in like the areas that rub off the most so center of the face pretty much and you can see I'm really broken out um, so when I first went to Ohio my skin was super broken out um, and then it cleared up and then I got back and it's super broken out which I don't know if it's stress of not having a job or anything but I don't know or maybe it's like my body's getting used to the water in one place and then not I'm gonna use just a little bit of this I did this yesterday and my skin was so glowy I mixed it with my foundation but today I just kind of want to put it a little bit underneath to kind of give me a little bit of a glow um, it is the Mac cosmetics uh, strobe cream and this is in the shade pink light so I'm gonna take a little bit of this it's almost like not a primer it's just literally like a cream that's like glowy and we're gonna put this on all the areas that we want to be highlighted on the face anyway Ooh, that was a little much um so i'm just taking this with a damp beauty sponge and we're just kind of kind of press this into the upper cheekbones around on the sides of the forehead see how it just gives you a glow like i, I read like on the website because i was like what do you actually use this for and it said it can be used like some people use it solo just to kind of give their natural skin a dewy look some people mix it in with foundation some people put it on top of foundation um so it's kind of just whatever you want and um because i'm putting on so many different products i'm not gonna put on a whole bunch of this because we don't want to be like we're not going for extremely dewy today we just want that natural little glow so you can see it just kind of gives you like a little dewy illuminating look and we do have a new foundation today i'm really excited about it i've only used this once maybe twice so far since i got it so i don't really know my full thoughts on it um it does give you a really nice dewy look i did wear it friday night when we had a work party and it did stay on the whole entire night um this is a little dark for me but the lady in sephora matched me and i had on a fake tan that day so i did it to myself so this is the lancome tint idol ultra wear um it is just a up to 24 hour color wear and comfort transfer resistant so it's like a it's in the shade 260 i think it says bis business i don't remember this quick i don't remember what the name of um the actual shade was um because it only shows half of the name but i'm going to pump a little bit of that on my skin and then we're just going to apply that with a beauty sponge in small areas at a time um, so it does have more of a dewy finish, which I've been wanting to invest in like a dewy foundation anyway. But it's not dewy, it's like a velvet finish. You know, it's definitely not matte. Let me zoom you in. It's definitely not a matte foundation. It's because you can see where I put all of that um, MAC Luminous stuff underneath. It kind of just gives you that lumini vibe. And um, if it would have been a matte foundation, it would have covered that up. But the reason I really like this, especially for summer 
it's because it kind of just it's full coverage and it lasts a long day and the lady said it's super buildable um and normally i just go in sephora or ulta and like help myself like i don't really get advice from anybody but that day that was the day i got a facial so you saw this in my haul a couple weeks ago so you can see it is like really full coverage but it leaves you looking just not like cakey at all like you just look glistening like i love that look and i've never had a foundation like this so it's super super different for me so i just blended out all that foundation and now we're gonna go in with some concealer on our under eyes and all the other areas we want to cover so i'm just going to take a little bit of the born this way um too faced no it's not too faced multi sculpting concealer from uh wait this is too faced too faced too born this way multi sculpting concealer sorry i can't talk today um and so I'm just going to put a little bit of that under my under eye to kind of brighten it a little tiny bit just in the center of the forehead. A little bit right here and a little bit right here. Now I did use a lot of primer under that foundation so hopefully that will keep it from really rubbing off anyway. But you can never have too much backup around the nose area down here because of how um, much I wipe my nose and stuff and it just comes off so easily. So we're just going to bring whatever we have left around the eye. Just really brighten this whole area. Not everything I'm going to be using today is brand new, but a lot of stuff is. And I feel like some of the stuff I've been using has just really been changing um, the game for me. I really have enjoyed a lot of the products that I've been using lately. Now we also have a new setting powder and you saw this in my haul. I'm super excited about it. I've used this once or twice again i can't remember if i've really used it that much i know i used it friday um it is the hourglass mineral no hourglass veil translucent setting powder um i've seen a lot of youtubers rave about this stuff along with the laura mercier one that you know i love but i was running low on the laura mercier and as i should be because i've had that stuff since october and i've used it almost every day and it's still probably got another couple weeks in it um it's just crazy how long that stuff has lasted me so I'm just going to stamp this with that same beauty sponge all under my under eye. So first we're just really going to set everything into place. And I know it looks as though like this powder really gets rid of that dewy look that we have going. Um, but it really doesn't. So once this stuff kind of like locks into the skin and really sets it in, it will kind of like, you know, blend in with the foundation and like really soak in and lock it in. And so you'll kind of get that dewiness back. But you really can't just like not set. So I'm taking the majority of the powder and really pressing it on the concealer because that's the area we need to set the most but I'm also taking a little bit as well um and just kind of going all over the face to really lock in all the foundation because again like I'm not really sure what my day is looking like today but we want to just make sure everything is nice and locked in and doesn't have any any areas of the face that lose lose any foundation or concealer now before I go and finish off the rest of the face I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows unfortunately I ran out of my brow pencil the other day and I haven't been um, to Ulta or anywhere to buy a new one because normally I use the benefit um, pencil this one right here but it's empty from this is the Desi Perkins collab with that rose gold touch I'm gonna go into the foolproof brow powder from benefit and also maybe a little bit of this cabrow um, because I am again out of brow pencil so I'm gonna go do that and then I'll be back so I did the brows and I wanted to do them kind of thick and almost like a bushy looking so I kind of like teased them up if you will. Um, but now we're going to go ahead and bronze before we move on to the eyes. Well not even bronze, just contour. So I'm going to go in with a brush that's a little bit more precise and angled so it allows you to kind of get a little bit more dense with where you place it. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to just do as we would typically. Swift motions upward. All around edges of the hair. Go back into that powder and bake a little. So I'm just going to carve that out lightly. I'm super stingy with my powder <laughs> because I'm like, I don't want to waste it where I don't have to. Because this stuff is expensive, but it's so smooth. And before I forget, we're going to go ahead and contour the sides of the nose just very lightly. I normally just use like a fluffier eyeshadow brush, but I go in very lightly because it's still a very dense brush. Just 
just to kind of give us that smooth look. I did this Friday and it was just like my under eye was like you could go skiing on it. It was so smooth. So I went ahead and set my or primed my eyes. I put some concealer on and then put I actually went into the Jaclyn Hill Morphe collab in the shade Poof um, from the Dark Magic palette. I haven't used this palette in so long. And um, just to kind of set it because it's like the same color as my skin, that shade. Um, and then after looking at this palette, I grabbed my other palettes. And I was like, I haven't used these in so long. I kind of want to use them today. And I think I want to go for like a yellow look. I haven't done that in a while. Or like a, I'm either thinking yellow or like an orange matte look. Because I'm not going to do anything too crazy because I'm going to be in public today um so i think i'm gonna go use the omni gorgeous and then the ring the alarm palette these colors are just speaking to me right now um let's see what do i want to use there's so many orange shades options ah so i think to start we're gonna go into this burnt orangey shade rush right here and this is in the ring the alarm palette it's almost like a deep macaroni, not even a macaroni, right? Macaroni's more yellow. It's like just an, a true deep orange, like an Auburn University orange. Um, and we're going to apply this in the crease. And I'm going in with a super light hand on a fluffier brush. Um, so we're just going to place this in the crease. I'm trying to decide what I want to do. I think I may want to do a matte look today. Because I haven't done that in like a really long time. And so this color is just really pretty. And again, I'm barely putting any on my brush because I know how strong it is. And I know they had like a lot of backlash with these palettes, but mine were actually really good. I remember I was at Ulta opening day. I vlogged that actually. As you can see, this shade's really bu uh, buildable. So it like really started off light, but then it really deepened up as we kept moving um more product into the crease so now we have that cr that color a uh, rush blended all into the crease i'm going to take a flat brush and i'm going to spritz it a little bit so it'll pick up more product and then i'm going to go into the armed and gorgeous palette and we're going to go into this yellow mustardy shade access i'm just really feeling like a yellow right now and i'm really feeling matte um so we're just going to place this all over the lid this is going to be an easy look to obtain and don't worry we're going to Make sure it's super blended into that crease shade. This is simply to just make sure it's pressed all into the lid before we get into the technical um, aspect of this lid shade. Um, so I'm just blending all of this out all over the lid. And again, these shades are very buildable. Most mattes are, but these are like super, just a little bit extra buildable. Um, yeah, nothing too extra I guess today I'm going in with a yellow eye back into rush and I'm gonna blend all in the crease to make sure it's nice and well blended I'm gonna add a little bit extra out here on the outer corner sorry I think I kind of lost the lighting a little bit there um, but I'm gonna add a little bit extra rush out here on the outer corner just to make sure everything's like nice and blended together I just really like the look of a matte warm eye this is very summery um but it's not like one of those looks that you can't ever you know wear out um it's still super wearable so now that we have all of that lid covered i'm gonna go ahead and spritz it and set my face like we're not done obviously i can't leave the house like this but um we just want to make sure that especially the eyeshadow really locks in now i'm going to go ahead and line my top lid i have this black eyeliner from nyx it's in the shade black and so we're just gonna do a thin little line on the top wait till y'all see the mascara that i got for today i'm gonna curl my lashes and again the mascara that i got i'm actually obsessed with it like it's so so good the mascara that i got is the monsieur big by lancome this stuff the lady in sephora was like this is the new hot stuff like you have to get it because i was looking for a new one and it's just wait until you see so i really have been going in with mascara lately um i didn't line my top waterline as i usually do i'm gonna do something a little bit different with my bottom waterline this stuff it just makes it so voluminous because she was like what are you looking for and i was like volume i don't really care um too much about having i like the thicker wand which this has I don't really like the thin little ones that spread it apart because I feel like I can do that myself. Okay, I know I've been going like back and forth with it, but just like look, it's so 
voluminous. This is pretty much one coat. Um, and I am going to also go in with lashes today. So just so you know, it's just like great. Okay, so now that mascara is on, we're going to put on some lashes. And the lashes I have today are actually new from a company I've never used before. So, Alexandria. Um, so, when I was in Columbus, we went to this girl boss pop-up shop. And I went and looked at these the, the girl that had these lashes on her booth table. And I was like, those are cute. And she's like, enter our contest. And so, I did. And I won. And so, they sent me these lashes. So, um, they sent me three different ones. So, this first one is a cutie pie. These are more wispy and natural looking as well as the these Mendoza um, these are also a little bit lighter on the lighter side but then these are Valentina these are my favorites I'm gonna save um, these for a little bit because these are a little bit thicker and more boom um, when I'm doing like full full glam like a night glam um, but these other ones are a little bit more day glam looking and I'm trying to decide which ones I want to go with I think I'm gonna go with Mendoza just because they have the look that I'm shooting for today um, so I'm going to apply these. I've never used these before. Once again, this is my first time opening these. Let's see how it goes. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I'm not super crazy about these. Just because they kind of are getting like tangled in with my regular lashes. Maybe if I go through with some mascara. I'm not sure if these are like a multiple use a lash. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the bottom lash line. I'm gonna go into that shade Rush that we have in the crease. This is a very simple eye look today y'all. We only used what two colors and we're just gonna smoke out this bottom lash line all the way across. And so I'm gonna line my bottom lash line um, with a white eyeliner. This is from NYX. Um, this is something I don't really ever do but I just really wanted to see what it would look like oh yeah I like that so it's kind of just like brightens up the eye the whole look and makes it not so smoky but more like a everyday kind of vibe I'm gonna go ahead and set my face once again and we're gonna make sure all of that powder is off the bottom down here I already kind of accidentally wiped it off um the top up here but a whale. Now we're not going to do bottom mascara just yet, but I'm going to go ahead and put on some blush. And the blush I'm using today is definitely not new. It's from Sonia Cash. Look in the shade, shade Sunset. It's just a beautiful peachy color. I thought it would go super great with the tones we have going on today. I think I put a little bit too much on, but whatever. And now before we really highlight, I'm going to be using this Hourglass um, Ambient Lighting Palette. Ah, it's so pretty. I love this thing. It was so worth it. Um, it was a little bit expensive, if I'm going to be honest. So I'm going to spritz a little highlight E type brush. This is a brush I love to use. It's from Target. It was super cheap. Um, and I'm going to... I just swallowed some of that setting spray. Um, I think I'm going to go into the middle shade Incandescent Light right here. It's just really pretty. And it's like an all over face powder. It kind of just leaves you with like... Looks like you have a filter on your face. It's what Jaclyn Hill uses. And so it just kind of brightens everything and kind of really makes you brings back that dewy look that you want you know how sometimes she looks like she's like literally just wearing a filter that's what this i feel like does and so i kind of like to bring it down really low like all the way to my like cheekbones in the front um and kind of like under my eye somewhat because it's not like a sparkly thing it's just like a shimmery thing if that makes sense so it just kind of leaves you looking flawless in a way dust a little bit everywhere because this is like a test day for all of this new makeup so it's not like an overpowering powder but it gives you like a dewy just glow like a goddess look it's like with what we got going on here we don't really like need need a highlight but we're gonna use it anyway I'm, I'm gonna go into uh the Santorini loose highlighter by Kylie Cosmetics this is like the most bomb highlight ever it's just so bright and we're just gonna do the upper cheekbones with this so it kind of just builds off of what we have with that hourglass highlight um i really want to buy some more of this santorini highlight but maybe in a different shade i don't know yet i don't know now we're gonna set one more time before i put on bottom mascara Um, and then we're going to put on lipstick too, of course. Okay, I know I said I wanted like an all over matte eye, but I think I want to add a pop of shimmer in the inner corner. And I'm going to go into the Armed and Gorgeous palette and go into the shade VIP right here. It's just like a blinding white highlight shade. Um, I haven't used this in a while, but see, it's just like boom. Like that's a, that's a highlight right there if I've ever seen one. So yeah, kind of 
it doesn't take away from the fact that we have a matte eye it just draws more attention to this inner corner and we'll put a little tiny bit on the brow bone okay so i have been trying to find a lipstick to use today i didn't know what i want to use but i think i'm going to this kylie cosmetics mini I don't know what shade this is if i can find it i promise you i will put it in below um because the sticker fell off the bottom a long time ago it's like a corally peachy shade so any like corally nude is fine um i just really want to use this and i know you're probably like why would you use something if you can't tell us what it is um i'm sorry but i really want to use it it's not angel but it came in one of her like packs like a birthday pack maybe it's kind of drying out i've had this for a while Okay, so it's a little bit brighter than I was wanting it to be. Um, I'm going to go into Baddest Beige and kind of cover basically this whole lip. I just really wanted to like tone it down a little. Yeah, I was going to um, do this. I should have done this before my bottom mascara. But I'm going in with the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist since this is a dewy, like, summery new makeup look. Um, and we're just going to give like two little pumps. That's all I'm getting. That is all. One more. Just because it's the mini, and this thing alone was like $20. So we're being very, um, very frugal with our dewy skin mist. And I'm gonna go over the mouth right here and kind of set this lipstick. Yeah. Hey guys, so I think that was it for today's video. This is the overall look we got. We just got like a dewy, summer, bright, fun look. Um, like a glam look using all new makeup. But it's like an everyday daytime glam. Um, so it's like going to be a daytime, summer, glam, dewy look using new makeup. I don't know what to title this video. But yeah, um, I really like how the matte eye kind of like sets off the dewy skin that we have going on my hair it just needs some brushing right now um but yeah this is the final look we got give this video a thumbs up if you liked it make sure to subscribe to my channel and enter um one of my many giveaways there may just be one up right now but i have more coming soon on this channel i'll link it down below um yeah so thank you once again for watching and i will see you in my next video bye Mwah.